Well, good morning to the LaSalle Crew Township High School community. This is Steve Robleski, Superintendent of, of LP High School, along with Matt Baker, our Director of Communications. Hi, everybody. Uh, it is Tuesday, June 19th. We are just beginning to film our sixth video uh, in the ongoing series. This is going to be a really interesting one. Um, we are effectively displaced from the main building. Uh, the entire 275,000 square feet of the, uh, the uh, of the main building is is currently a construction zone. So we're going to be excited to bring you into the building. Uh, we're going to go from the third floor down to the first floor to give you some insight into what the building looks like and um, in in some areas how completely ripped up and torn up it is. And uh, it'll be great for the community to be able to see this, especially when we come back. Uh, in September to show everyone the finished product. So we're going to uh, take a walk now across the street and begin the tour of the interior of the main building. Well, we're entering the main building right now. This is going to be, we're entering into, under the clock tower and this will become the secondary uh, access point into the building as a result of the renovation. The new main entrance is going to be off of 6th Street. Uh, however, we're still maintaining the Charter Street address as, as the main address. But as you come in here, we're going to be just outside the auditorium doors and you can see that the crews are getting the infrastructure in for the new ceiling. Uh, it's going to be really, really nice to see the, the new lighting. Um, it's going to really brighten up the area here. And as you kind of look around here, um, everything is just completely uh, torn up here. Take a quick peek down the, the main administrative hallway. You can see all of the, the gear here as the crews are working to fill in doorways that we're no longer going to be using or different access points to the bookstore. We used to have a, uh, a, a ticket booth down here at the end of the hall uh, where the athletic director's office uh, used to be. Uh, but all of this is, is getting updated. It's going to get a fresh coat of paint, new um, ceiling tile, as well as lights. Um, and, on, and the reality, though, is that this part of the building is really going to have the, the most minimal amount of renovation done to it. We're going to make sure that we've got all the air conditioning uh, put in, the new lights, the new ceiling. We are going to be updating the boardroom, but we've really made the priority to drive all of our dollars into the classrooms where it's going to have its greatest impact for our teachers and our kids. We're going to take you up to the third floor now and we're going to make our way from the third floor back down to the first floor. So we're up on the third floor right now. Uh, just right behind uh, Matt Baker is the math hallway. Uh, right behind me, um, as you can see that we're, it's under containment right now. Uh, there are several places throughout the, the building that is receiving uh, abatement work, uh, removing the asbestos uh, both on the, the old floor tile as well as the insulation around some of our 70, 80 year old uh, pipes. So this area unfortunately we're not going to be able to get to today, um, uh, which is a kind of a disappointment because that's where all the, uh, the science facility is going to be installed. But if you go onto our, our Facebook page and, uh, and on my Twitter account, we've been posting some photos of what the, the rooms look like after they've been demoed. Uh, but when we have an opportunity to, to come back in here when the abatement work is done, we'll see if we can capture some more video footage at that time. So we're back up on the second floor. We're going to head through these doors here that'll take us uh, to where the, the library is. So prepare yourself. Not sure how well we can see this, but you can see all the lights have been removed. Uh, the crews here are using temporary uh, lights. We've got a really cool scraper machine here. I'm not sure how well we're going to be able to see it. But what it's doing is it's ripping down the entire ceiling. This is down the main hallway in the second floor. We're right in front of the library right now. Uh, to allay anyone's worries and fears, man, if you can pan the camera over to the mural on the uh, on the wall, we've got the mural completely covered up right now to, to protect that from any of the damage. You can take a look down there and see the demolition phase of this is pretty remarkable. As you can see, while we're in the library here, this is you know all the 
uh, the stacks have been removed. We are able to keep the, the books on the shelves. They'll be covered up when it comes time to pull up the floor in here, which, which is asbestos based. Uh, ceilings are gonna be removed. We're gonna have new lights that will be put in here as well. All the old computer tables are gonna be removed. We're only gonna have about 10 computer stations up in here when this is all done. The last several years, all of our all of our kids are issued Chromebooks. So having access to technology is really no longer an issue for any of our kids here, and it's going to allow the uh, Mr. Kelty, our, our librarian, an opportunity to kind of repurpose the library in a way that's it's going to make it that much more contemporary and uh, user friendly for our staff as well as our kids. And you know we're very fortunate to have. Uh, Mr. Kelty just has a great vision for our library and I'm really excited to be able to, to see his, uh, his vision come to life here uh, later this fall. Well, we're back down on the first floor. Uh, just look, take a look down the hallway. This is what used to be the old math wing. Uh, lockers have all been, been ripped out of it. It's all been cleaned out. Uh, Mr. Baker and I came through here on several occasions and we probably have three or four bags full of more goodies uh, found behind the lockers, uh, old report cards, lots of letters, more pictures. Uh, so we're really excited to be able to inventory those and uh, eventually put, put those on display. It's gonna be really interesting here. So uh, this used to be a you know, storage room, copy room. Uh, walls have all been blown out uh, in here. This is going to become one of the, the, the new uh, teacher resource room as well as the uh, student resource room uh, then this entire wing is going to be the English department and in fact uh, right behind me here behind Mr. Baker here I'll turn the camera around this room here is going to become the new yearbook room it's going to be a nice size room we're really excited about the layout uh, for the students I know Miss West was able to provide a significant amount of inputs to our team uh, to make sure that we're, we're meeting her needs to be able to effectively run the uh, the yearbook program. So we're back in the hallway. As you can see, the lockers have all, have all been ripped out. The floors have been kind of have been generally cleaned up here. This looks a, a lot different than what it did just a few days ago. We're going to take a pop peek into one of the other classrooms here. It's really amazing seeing all the exposed brick out here in the hallway. It's almost a shame that we have to cover it up. Uh, so this is a really good view too of seeing some of the demo work here that they're going to need to be able to get the new ductwork uh, installed here. You can see the ceiling the tile have already been begun to be removed. It's just amazing seeing all of the, the original concrete work here. I mean, this goes back to 1927. You know, so when you when you look up and see it, just how this building was built, I mean, the best way to describe it is built to last. So we're we're excited to be able to spruce it up and make it 21st century, uh, but still have these amazing bones. Uh, the rooms are still going to be around the same size. Uh, there there'll be a few rooms we're going to be able to to make bigger, but if this experience has been anything like the other rooms that have been renovated. Whenever we've interviewed students, one of the things they've always counted on is how they, they like how we made the rooms bigger, which of course we didn't. But I think the new paint, the carpet tile, the furniture, um, the lighting, I think it all makes a huge difference in the quality of the learning environments. Um, that's probably the thing that's going to be um, the thing we're most looking forward to tracking is just what impact over time a brand new facility is going to have, even just in terms of the affect of our students, their motivation, their, their commitments, um, and being in an environment that is climate controlled, it's, rela it's relaxed, yet it has a very, very academic feel to it with all of the modern amenities which you would expect in, in a schoolhouse. In fact, we'll take a quick peek into this room right here. For me, back in the mid-1980s, uh, this is where I had math analysis with Mr. Wojciechowski, so I'm sure a lot of my fellow class of 88ers uh, would, would remember um, spending a lot of time uh, in this classroom uh, trying to figure out math analysis. So a lot of good memories here. 
I know our English department is going to do just a superior job as well, creating new experiences and, and new memories for our kids. You know, if we kind of turn the camera here against the, the north wall here, uh, this is going to give you some insight to the, the, the backbone to the teaching wall. Uh, this is going to be a floor to ceiling, uh, writable wall. It's going to have a ceiling, or it'll have a projector uh, that teachers will be able to ink directly on, uh, be able to save that information, um, share with, with their students. This has been really one of the most well received features uh, in, the new, in the new classrooms by both our faculty as well as our, as, as our students. You know, it just gives them the full length of the uh, of the wall to be able to brainstorm, to put notes down. Uh, really, it just it gives them complete flexibility on, on uh, adapting uh, whatever the learning plans are for that particular day. So normally, uh, the, the auditorium is utilized uh, for summer theater camps. I mean, there's always, always activity going on here during the summertime. However, for this particular summer, the auditorium is used as a storage swing space. So when you see the, the photos of all the stuff in there, it's going to just it's going to really blow you away. You know, as far as the, the 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 materials that a schoolhouse contains, and thankfully we have a facility inside the building this large to be able to to contain all of this. Because quite frankly, if we didn't have this. Uh, I don't know what we'd be doing. We probably have five uh, more semi-trailers out, out in the street uh, having to house all this stuff.